In this video, we'll show how to add and customize the content timeline block using the responsive block editor add-ons. Content timeline displays historical events on a vertical timeline. Using the responsive blocks library, you can create one easily without any coding knowledge. Before getting started, you need to make sure that you have the responsive blocks library installed and activated on your website. Check out the link in the description below to find out how to install it. So, let's get started. Open a page or a post and click on the plus icon to add a new block. Look for the content timeline block or you can search for it if it doesn't pop up quickly for you. By default, it will look like this. Now let's configure the content timeline block. On the right, you will see the block settings with content, style, and advanced tabs. Click on the content tab. Under general settings you'll see options like Number of items Orientation Arrow alignment for top, bottom, and center Stack on, to select on which devices the columns or tiles will stack. Under Timeline Item Settings, you get options to set Heading Tag, Style, Border Width, Border Radius, Border Color and Padding. Date Settings, you can toggle this button to display slash hide the post date. Select the date format from the multiple options. You can also select the date to be displayed for each tile in the timeline. Next, click on the Style tab and you'll first get the options to customize the connector. You can select the icon, set icon size, background size, set border and connector width. With connector color settings, you can select the colors of line, icon, background and border of the connector. Below, you'll see options to customize the spacing, typography, colors, and an option to adjust the opacity of the background of the tiles. Once you are satisfied with your settings, click on the Update button. This is how you can add and customize the content timeline block using responsive block editor add-ons. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.